okay now we need to create a spawner so uh, let's create a new empty object and this is going to be called um, spawner spawner and let's uh, assign a label okay uh, right now I do not need my animal tree right here in my scene so I'm going to uh, delete it and I'm going to take my spawner and I guess this is a good place for the spawner okay now um, we need to make this spawner as a child of our enemy cave so let's put it right inside here all right now let's go to our scripts and let's go to our um, enemies into our enemy cave and let's make a new c -sharp script and let's call this script um, enemy spawner okay and we need to assign this script to our spawner object okay so we have it now let's open our new script and let's make some variables okay so I need, I want to to take um, my serialized field okay enemy spawner so serialized field this is going to be a private float is going to be a range 15 hep we're gonna say then another serialized field and it's going to be a private flow to is time between spawns be <laughs> between spawn okay and this is going to be one second okay then private game object is going to be our player then private ball is going to be our player in range we need to make a check uh, then we need to make a public uh, transform enemy spawn okay and then a public uh, rigid body is, is going to be our enemy prefab Okay, and rigid body. This is going to be a clone. Okay, now for the start function, let's initialize the variables and say enemy spawn. Okay, is equals to game object um, dot find our spawner object dot transform okay then for our player is equal to game manager dot instance dot player okay <clears throat> now uh, let's go to our object function and first we need to do to check if our player is in range so if um you know what let's take uh, from our archer attack script let's take the check of this so this is from the our archer attack copy and let's paste it here in our okay but I I just saw here uh, uh, something okay this transforms cat B with the little T okay so let's see if vector three distance transform position okay range this is good playing range true we do not need this anim okay else playing in range false okay so now we gonna say okay print um, player in spawner range 
mm -hmm. plus player in range okay let's save the script and let's see if our player is in the spawner range okay okay so now on the console okay our range is true right now the range is true. and now our range is false and here our range is true again okay <coughs> all is working great so now let's go to our uh, enemy spawner and let's make uh, the functionality the functionality for the spawn enemy so let's make a public uh, e enumerator it's going to be called the spawn enemies okay and then what is going to happen inside of here okay let's see if our player in range and is not game over game manager mm, that in that instance that game over okay so um mm -hmm. clone equals instantiate what well our enemy prefab yes and enemy uh, spawn dot position position and enemy spawn dot rotation okay uh, as rigid body okay great then we're gonna say yield return because it's an enumerator new um, wait for seconds the time between spawn of course all right and then outside of here we're gonna say okay yield return no Mm -hmm. and then start coroutine coroutine the same spawn enemies okay so now uh, we need to uh, call this star coroutine in our star function right here so okay we have that and let's save the script and let's go to unity uh, let's select our spawner and here we need to the any enemy spawn we need to assign uh, the the spawner spawner okay here okay and for the enemy prefab we need to assign where are my prefabs okay we need to assign our enemy okay let's save and let's preview the functionality okay so now we are in range and oh okay come on okay now you you need to stop that <laughs> okay I guess I I just can uh, okay that's enough so um I guess if I make the time between a spawn uh, two okay let's see okay I think this is better but Okay. Uh, great. All right. Okay. So. Yes. Great. Okay. So um, 
we're almost finished so we just need to make uh, a couple of details uh, for the game before we go to the final battle with the big boss so in the next chapter in the next section no section of no, video in the next video we're going to add music to our game so i'll see you in the next lesson